Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group. There is a new feature in Design Space rolling out that I want to make sure you know how to use it because it's something we've all been wanting to do for a while now, so I'm super excited to show you. Now, this is the Guides feature. I know you're like, what is Guides? Guides is a way for us to make our own notes and templates in Design Space. Yep, you heard me. Notes and templates in Design Space to make our own. Yes. Now, this is available starting in the desktop version 7.6 or higher. So if your desktop version is 7.6 or higher, you will have this. But the great news is it's also rolling out in the Cricut iOS app. Okay, so if you haven't updated your Cricut app in a while on your iPhone or your iPad, go do that and it will update it to version 5.6. You, then you will have the guides feature on your mobile device as well. Now, unfortunately, it is not available for the Android device just yet. Cricut's still working hard on trying to get some of these features into the Android app. As soon as I hear that it is available in Android, of course, I will let you guys know. But let's take a look at the guides and what it can do for you when you're crafting with your Cricut. So the first thing I want to do, we're just going to do something basic. I'm going to grab a heart shape. Now this could be anything, right? Um, but there are templates already built into Design Space here if on, when you're on the desktop version. There are not templates if you're, when you're on the iOS device, okay? But in the desktop version you could maybe go find a template that was approximate to your object that you wanted to use to put your image on with Cricut right and we would go in and we would uh, you know create a shape so for this example I'm going to make I have a heart shaped dish that I want to add vinyl to the inside of the dish I'm not going to need to cut out the dish right I already have the dish before what we were having to do was to create a template for ourselves and then we would need to maybe change that to white. There were several steps we had to remember, right? And then we would find our image that we wanted to use. And I'm just going to say flower. We would pick our image and put it onto this template that we've made. I'm just going to pick this. And you would pull it over and you would size it for it to fit this template that you've created yourself, right? Using a shape in Design Space. Okay. So let's say I know I want my, um, my vinyl that I'm going to do is going to be this and I would line it up on here and I would have it sized to fit the heart shaped dish. But if I hit make it and send it to the cutting mat like this, it's going to try to cut out a heart shape. And of course I wouldn't want that. And the other thing is I wouldn't want to do that and accidentally cut something I didn't need and I would have to remember to turn that background off okay over here by clicking the eye but what we can do now is we can create our shape okay and then we can come up here to underneath operations and that top menu where it has a little down arrow we see our cut features we see our drawing features and at the very bottom now there's something called guide so we're going to click guide lo and behold we have now created our own template now when you create this template you can still take your image over here and size it and figure out you know where you're going to put it and how big does it need to be and all that good stuff okay but when you look over here in the layers panel that heart shape is not a cut it doesn't say basic cut it just says guide so and then here are my flower pieces so if i go to make this it's just the pieces that i need to cut out in the vinyl it is not the template that i just created okay so that is really cool that's a great saver um save you some steps and you can also you know use this for any any shape in design space or anything you import in you can use this okay now let's take it another step further now, let's see. I'm still going to just pick a basic shape. I'm going to pick this one, this rectangle here. And I want to create a, uh, let's say, one of those doormats, okay? A doormat that um, 
that you use outside. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a temp template out uh, using a word, and I'm gonna use that paint on it or whatever, right? Uh, that's really popular. Makes great gifts. So I'm gonna I want to size this to the size of my mat, and those mats are usually 30 by 18. Okay, so I'm gonna just zoom in so we can see this is about the shape uh, and size of that mat in real life okay and I can come up here and now I can change this into a guide okay so here's a guide I can save this you can see it just says guide it does have the little caution rectangle because Cricut's like wait a minute this is too big big for you to put on a Cricut mat I don't care because it's just a guide okay and I could come up here and I can save this and I can save it as a um, doormat guide okay and I can even create a collection that is my guides okay so I've done that I'm gonna say save Okay, so now I have a template that I can use over and over and over again. I won't have to keep doing it. Let's say I'm going to make a bunch of these and I don't want to have to keep, um, you know, recreating the wheel, so to speak. All right, so that's one thing you can do with this, uh, with this new guide feature. Now, let's say I am going to, on my mat, I am going to um, want to put the word hello. Okay, so I can take this, I'm going to make this bigger and bring it over so you guys can see it. And I am going to use a pretty script font and for my final product. And one of the ones I like a lot is Birds of Paradise. Here it is. It's a really pretty script font. I'm going to ungroup this. Now you're going to see what I'm getting at here in a minute. Okay. Now, if you look in that in the layers panel, it tells you. Whoops, it tells you what uh, font it is you're using. Text is Birds of Paradise. Okay, but I'm going to weld this, so I'm going to highlight that and hit weld in the layers panel over here. And once I do that, it changes it to weld results. And now I don't know what font it is that I used for this project. And let's say I made it today and then two months from now, somebody said, hey, can you make me another one? But I want it to say this, but I want that same font. We all have this problem. We've all been trying to figure out a way to do this, right? I'm gonna make this so it would fit if I cut it out. <laughs> okay, so it's gotta be the right size. All right, so now I have this, all right? So this way it helps me, the guide helps me figure out how big can I make my hello on my doormat, all right? But now I wanna know, what was this font that I used? Guess what? I can make a note to myself here and I can say, let's see, I'm gonna change it to Cricut Sand so you guys can see it easier. There we go. I'm going to make a note to myself that says welded, yeah, welded font dash birds of paradise. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to size it so it's smaller um, and I can come back over here to operation and I can go down here to guide and now this is a note to myself. It's not going to cut out. It is simply a guide. Okay, so now I can save, I can save this cut file. I'm going to do save as. I can just change it. So uh, door doormat guide with hello. I can add it to my collection here so I don't forget. So I'm going to put it back in my guides and hit save. Okay, so now anytime I go into my projects, I'm going to be able to find this. And it tells me that this is I'm going to pull it back up again for you guys. Okay, so now I've got it. It's here. I know what font I use. This is so cool, guys. I cannot, 
I can't even tell you how exciting this is because we've been wanting this for quite a while now. Okay. Now the other thing I want to show you, which was cool, is that sometimes when you're creating a project and maybe you pull in some images from Design Space or you've uploaded an SVG file or whatever, and you're going to you're going to you know make the project. This is a peony in Design Space. When I was thinking about this project, I put it on put it in my Cricut uh, Design Space screen and. I thought, oh, I want to remind myself, I think it would be really pretty if these centers were gold foil, okay, gold foil cardstock or whatever. So I made a note to myself and I can save this file. Just say peony and I can add it, you know, here somewhere. Let's say floral and save that. Now, when I go into my projects, let's say it's, you know, a month later and I go, I'm finally going to get around to cutting this project. How many of us design something in design space, but we can't cut it out right then, right? We're going to come back later to it. This is great because now when I go into the peony file that I already set there and sized it the way I wanted, and I go in to take a look at this, it's already got my note to myself. <laughs> Use gold foil for the centers. Yay! And then when I hit make it, there again, it's not going to be that that note to myself does not show up as a cut file. It is only a guide. It's like a template, a note. You leave in a note for yourself. And then it just has the images, the actual things that you're going to cut or print or whatever. Okay. So I think this is a really cool feature. I think it's something that it's going to be very helpful. Now, if you're using the iOS version, so you'll go to your, add the image to your mat in the iOS device, and then you need to hit edit. At edit, then in the left-hand corner, you'll see where it says operations, and you will click the down arrow here so that then you, it opens up the operation guide, and you can go down to the bottom and click guide. Once you do that, you get to this screen where it says apply, and you need to hit apply. Once you hit apply, then it actually changes the image into the guide. So that's how you do it in the iOS devices. I'm using my iPhone. Hope you guys found this useful. I hope you will use the guides. I am so excited to be able to add notes to myself because I can't tell you how many times I wish I had been able to do that. I've tried doing it with just adding fonts and then always trying to remember to hide the font stuff before the font note before I clicked it to hit make it and I always forget. Um, and if you're like me, I know you find that annoying. Anyway, so this the new guides feature in Design Space is really cool. And I hope you guys will use it. Come over to our group, Let's Learn Cricut Design Space Facebook group, and let me know if you've used this uh, before or if you're excited about it. I'm uh, happy to see and talk to you guys about this if you have any other questions. Thanks so much and happy crafting!